by MyGov to fire Nyika President Emerson Nangagwa will next week meet with traditional leaders in the Midlands capital of Guru. His spokesperson George Karamba has said. President Emerson Nangagwa in a statement yesterday, Karamba said Nangagwa was scheduled to meet all the country's 282 chiefs on January 12 as part of his ongoing program to connect and acquaint himself with the different echelons, interests and players of our nation. The president is expected to take advantage of the meeting to get the views and expectations of communities on government's performance and services, while also briefing our traditional leaders on the vision programs and expectations of his new administration as these relate to rural areas where the majority of Zimbabweans live. Karamba said. Karamba added that Nangagwa will also discuss with chiefs the welfare, describing traditional leaders as key players in the mobilizing and orchestrating national development through community involvement and empowerment. This comes just after deposed President Robert Mugabe had just bought 226 top-class Ford Ranger vehicles for the traditional chiefs in a move sledged by opposition parties. After receiving the cars in October last year, a fortune Charambira, the president of the chiefs' council, called upon chiefs to campaign for ZANU-PF party to ensure it wins the forthcoming election. Charambira told the official opening of the 2017 edition of National Annual Conference of Chiefs held in Bulawayo that chiefs must back the former ZANU-PF leader because he recognizes and respects traditional leaders. As chiefs, we agreed during the 2014 Congress that C.D.E. Mugabe is our candidate for the 2018 elections. We are all united and he is still our candidate. We have been supporting him and we can confirm that winning is guaranteed. Charambira said, after the overthrow of Mugabe, chiefs again met in Nyanga last month, where they pledged the support to Nangagwa during a meeting with National Assembly member Supermanda Wanzira who was briefing them on the new dispensation in the wake of Operation Restore Legacy. Traditional leaders led by Headman Sam Himba said they were happy with the new developments in ZANU-PF, conveniently claiming that they were not impressed with what was happening when Mugabe was in charge. People in villages did not know where the party was now heading to, but now we feel safe and happy. We want to thank you Honorable Manda Wanzira for coming to tell us what is happening on the ground. We will take the word to the people and we really appreciate. The operation helped a lot and what we really appreciate is that ZANU-PF is now intact. We are more than happy that Nangagwa is in charge. What Mandawan Zira has done, coming here to tell us what is on the ground is important so that we go out there and tell the people and we start working, he said. Daily News